As you guys can see, I have quite a bit of Robux and good fun, so if you want to win some, all you need to do is go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel with post notifications on, comment your Robux username down below in the comment section, and go ahead and join the group, which the link will be at the top of the description for. Good luck to all, and enjoy the video. Yo, what's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to download shaders on Roblox. Just a quick note that basically everything in this video works exactly the same on Windows 11. Some people may call this turning on RTX, however it doesn't uh, require the steps that you'd usually use to turn on RTX, and instead I'm just going to be uh, showing you how to download the normal Roblox shaders. Before the video starts, I'm going to give a quick shout out to Zeal, who actually created the preset and the installer. But other than that, let's get right into it. So guys, to start, what you guys want to do to download shaders on Roblox is the first thing you want to do is go and open up your search engine or browser, whatever you use. I use Chrome, Chrome and just search on Google. So guys, what you want to do is do is go ahead and open up a new tab and then search for Bro Shade. Nothing advert appears uh, at the top right here instead of Bro Shade. Then go ahead and scroll down and then find this one that says Bro Shade. Take Roblox to the limits. Then go ahead and click on that. Now this is what it looks like at the moment for me. It says Bro Shade right here and there's a blue download now button in the middle, which is what you want to go ahead and press. But because I know that this website does receive updates quite regularly, it might look different whenever you watch it. But there should be a download button. So yeah, go ahead and click that. Now once you've clicked that, an advert may pop up and open up a new tab. What we're going to do. You don't want to go ahead and close this. Instead, you want to wait for on the top right. For it to say skip you want to ignore whatever advert says here because this isn't real uh it says here your software might be out of date this is just an advert that they need to make money so just make sure you ignore this uh don't click anything here because this can be malicious and can even get you a virus what we're gonna do is basically just click skip on the top right it skips that advert and then it just downloads the file for you and what we're gonna do is go ahead and save it on the bottom left rose shade should appear right here you can go ahead and close out this ad focus tab yeah on the bottom right if you're using google chrome you'll probably see this but if it's not there for you what you probably want to do is go and open up file explorer then you go over to downloads and then right here you should see rose shade 1.4.1 that's the version i'm using as of creating this video but it may be like a larger number like 1.5 6 7 maybe even 2.5 i don't know it depends on when you're watching this video but yeah what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and open up this winrar file right here if it doesn't say that the file here is a winrar zip archive then what you're gonna do is probably go ahead and download winrar if you know how zip files work and you have your own sort of like app that works sort of like that works like WinRAR, then you can just go ahead and do what I'm about to show you with your with your zip app. But for most people, you want to go and use uh, WinRAR. If you don't have it and it doesn't have like the three books as an icon right here for Rose Shade, what you're going to do is go and open up a new tab right here and then search out WinRAR. Then you're going to go ahead and download this. And then once you've downloaded it, come back to this video so you can continue the steps. If you have just downloaded Rose Shade after pausing this video, what you're going to do is go ahead and reinstall Rose Shade so that this time when you open it up, it should say Rose Shade and then with like a uh, one in brackets next to it. And then it should just, uh, and then it should this time be as a WinRAR zip archive. It might not say archive, it just may say a uh, WinRAR zip. That is basically the same thing. Okay, what we're going to do is go and double click and then open this up. Then what we're going to do is, if you're on the screen right here or something that looks like this, where you can see the Zeal YouTube URL, Roche Setup, Patrons, Help, uh, and Credits, what we're going to do is go over to Roche Setup right here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up, and then right here, sometimes OBS doesn't pick this up, so you guys may not be able to see this, but essentially guys, what it says here is, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? Then it should say Roche, uh, then it should say Roche Setup.exe. If that is what it says, I'm going to go ahead and hit yes right here. And then once you've done that, an installer should pop up just like this, which has Roshade installation. Let's go ahead and install it. What you guys want to do is go and hit next right here. Then you'll go ahead and hit I agree on the license agreement. If you want, you can go ahead and read through the terms, but usually you could just click I agree anyway. And now this part right here, the installation is all down to personal preference. This is about the key uh, that you want to toggle the shaders with and that you want to open or close reshade with. So for me, I'm just going to leave it as F7 or F8, but if you don't have F7 or F8 on your keyboard, then you'll probably go ahead and choose home or end. But if you do have F7 and F8, I just recommend you leaving it as that. Then you want to go ahead and hit next. Now you want to leave everything right here ticked and then click install. Now everything should just install. You should see like what I'm seeing right now. So when I tried to download this earlier, I did get this error. So if you do get some sort of error like this, all you need to do is just press ignore. And then that should be about it. If you get like two or three errors, then I just recommend pressing ignore. But then if it's like more than five, then there may be an issue. Comment down below. And I'll make sure to go through and read every single comment to make sure that I can help you guys. Okay, so guys, once you've done that, it says installation complete. And there should be a full green bar on your screen right now. You want to go and press next. Then you want to go ahead and press finish. Now you may get this option here from execute saying some files extracted from Roshade uh, were modified or 
whole new files were created, you wish to put them in the archive, you want to simply go and press no right here. Alright, so guys, now I'm going to be showing you the best settings for the shaders to make sure you don't lag and to be appropriate for your PC. Alright, so once you're back on Roblox, just join any game of your preference. I find that on Jailbreak, it does seem to work pretty well. The shaders do look pretty nice on Jailbreak, so I'm just going to go ahead and join this private server right here. Because everything might look a bit weird right here, like everything should be glowy. If you get this thing at the top of your screen that I just had that's disappeared now, but as you can see on screen right now, if you get this, then that is a good sign. Then what you're going to do is, uh, in game, just like, I'm going to put you spawn in as a police officer. Now, everything might might look like sort of weird to you i don't know this does look pretty nice if you ask me like this is the shaders default settings now i'm going to be showing you customization to make it more appropriate for your pc personally and also just to make it look nice with less lag but let's just get right into it because so what we're going to do is obviously if you remember earlier when i said you want to choose either f7 or home to open up the shaders menu uh i chose f7 so when you press f7 if you chose that then this thing should open right here if you did choose home or end or whatever the option was then go ahead and click uh, home or end matter of fact i think it's actually just home which opens this up don't press end if you chose end earlier for closing it i said you guys what f7 uh, so what f7 at home does it will open the uh it'll open the shader pack settings press f7 again it just makes it disappear and if you press f8 it just fully turns off the shader as you can see there's a big difference when i press f8 it just turns on and off and you can see just <laughs> You can see how nice the shaders are compared to normal Roblox. And then that might be uh, end on your keyboard as well. So if you press end, this may happen. So you'll obviously be able to tell when it's on. But just in case you can't, what you probably want to do is like go to like a dark corner like this. And then just go ahead and press the button. And then when you see uh, it just looks really high quality and smooth, that's how you know that the shaders are on. But I'm pretty sure you'll all be able to tell that the shaders are on regardless. So now let's just jump right into the settings, depending on what kind of PC you have, so that you don't lag or experience frame drops with the shader pack. Now my PC isn't the best PC at all. It is one of the, like, it is a GTX uh, series card. So my graphics card isn't the best at all. It is a GTX series card and I don't seem to be experiencing any lag with this, like, base, with the normal settings. So I'm going to be jumping into these settings right now to show you how this thing works. So when you press F7, this thing might look a bit complicated, but it's really easy to get used to once you use it, like, a couple times. So once you've got this thing open, there are, like, a bunch of options at the very top. Just below Home, next to Home, there's, like, settings where you can go and customise, like, keybinds or just things that work. I recommend you don't change anything other than, like, your overlay key and effect key. If there's anything else you need to use, like, for example, performance mode, which may be needed if you have a uh, not as good PC, if you have a not very good PC, you may want to go ahead and just like press a button on your keyboard which will just uh, make it, you know, enable performance mode, but I don't necessarily need it right now, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll just leave it control Z. I don't use control Z. I've just accidentally put that. Um, if you guys uh, do experience lag after everything I'm about to show you, then I recommend you do turn on performance mode, which I will remind you later. There are also statistics, so you can see I'm getting 55, 56 FPS, nearly my nice 60 FPS that I usually expect. 55 seems good enough for me though. What we're going to do is go ahead and go back to home right here, and then there are a bunch of options for what kind of preset you want to use. So if you want to use uh, glossy or like rose shade high, what we're going to do is go ahead and select the one you want to use and experiment with it. So what we're going to do is go ahead and select the preset you want to use, so uh, mine's already set to glossy but you can change to like rose shade high, and as you can see it does look kind of different right here. This is like a lot more laggy for me, it seems a lot more detailed. If you have like an RTX 20 or 30 series, this may be very easy for you to run. So, depending on how good your PC is, so depending on how good your PC is, what you can go ahead and do is press the page up slash page down button on your keyboard, which page up uh, basically makes your like, uh, makes the shader quality go up, and then page down makes it go down. It's currently not working for me because I am on the high because I'm on the high preset, but it does work on certain other presets. So if I go to like very glossy, it's basically why I had it the this is basically, as you can see, very glossy as it says. It looks like the floor is literally reflecting what's above. And it does look quite nice if you ask me. Now guys, there are a bunch of settings that you can uh, mess with right here. So what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and like hover over this. We, 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 what you guys can go ahead and do is hover over some of these settings right here. If you hover over the tick for some of them, it will tell you what it does. So for example, Quint Adolf, I guess. It is a depth of field shader and it blurs the scene in front of and behind the focus plane. Essentially what that means is if I turn that on, then what you do is like, then if you go ahead and like go close to an object like this, it kind of just focuses on like the main thing you're looking at and blurs everything up. As you can see, everything on my blur, everything on my screen is blurred except for the center of attention. If I sort of like move around and do it with this, you can see that this isn't blurred, but the rest is. You can do it with your own character as well. So if, if I'm zooming into like you know, myself right here, you can see that the whole background is blurred and, and the center of attention is just me. This might be useful con for content creators, but it is your choice. Yeah, and there are just a bunch of other settings that you might use. I might just leave this on because this is pretty cool. Something really cool that you can also do with this is turn on chroma key. It actually turns on a green screen. 
Uh, what you can do is like when you walk around, it just sort of follows you. And what you can do is like adjust like how close the uh, green screen is to you. So you can drag this around. There is a, there is actually a little slider you can drag on right here that I've zoomed into. When I hover over it, it just disappears. But it's right here. If you go and drag it, like you can make it really close to you or far away from you. It's like useful for like making thumbnails, but I find this pretty cool. You can go ahead and turn that off again with the chroma key option here, or you can just make it like far away from you. Like as you can see when walking around, if I go into like a city area like this, oh yeah, that night it does look quite nice. Oh, look at that glow, guys. There are some really cool like glow settings that you can turn on actually. If you just hit F7. Okay, so this is what I was looking for guys. This is the bloom feature as you can see it makes like lights glow a lot And I guess like if you're really high up this might look nicer I'm gonna quickly hop on a helicopter right here and see if this is if that's the case what? How does jailbreak work now? <laughs> From far away it does look very very glowy right here You guys probably want to go and turn this off But I do recommend you going through it and checking out all of these settings right here Matter of fact there is one really good one that I recommend everybody to turn on regardless of like what kind of PC you have uh, it's just a really cool setting in general. What you guys want to do is go ahead and press F7 and then go up to the top right here. Okay, so guys, what you're going to do is at the top, you're going to scroll down all the way to D, to everything that starts with D, and then you're going to go and look for this directionally localized anti aliasing plus DLA. DLAA uh, plus FX. What you guys want to do is go and turn that on and then if I zoom right into here you can see that when I turn it off, so it's off right now, you can see like the sort of sharp edges uh, around my character. But when I turn it on everything just looks a lot smoother. And I recommend you guys to turn this one on just because it does make everything look nice. And the floor does look quite glossy, everything looks quite nice. What you guys can go ahead and do is press page up to go ahead and turn up the graphics quality or the shader quality, however you want to refer to it to. And then you can press page down to turn that down. The thing you should be aware of is that if you turn on this anti-aliasing thing, it does make some of the text on your screen blurry. In fact, it kind of makes all of the text on your screen blurry. You can see everything does, doesn't look as nice as when I turn it off right here. Everything just looks back to normal. But yeah, again, I do recommend you just go through all of these settings and see what works the best for you. This is the reshade uh, shader pack that is like high quality right here. So like when I zoom in, it really does like really focus on my character right here. This does look quite cool, like maybe for a thumbnail of um, like a thumbnail of a music video or something. I don't know. I can just imagine someone just taking a screenshot right here and just making this like a, a jailbreak music video. But yeah, to but you can just go and like uh, adjust these like uh, reshade presets. These are pretty cool in my opinion. I'm not gonna do ultra because my PC probably won't like that. I might explode. So yeah, uh, if I go and like select medium right here, this does look. This looks pretty nice. It's not the same as glossy because it's not the same as glossy. So the floor does look pretty normal. You'll be able to see like coloured shadows and everything as normal, but everything just kind of looks nicer on like a large scale, on like a big scale. Everything does look quite nice though. Again, one thing to note is that when you zoom in right here, it like blurs everything around here. So like it blurs the leaderboard, you have to like zoom pretty far out to make it, to be able to see it at like a normal resolution. But yeah, you can go ahead and mess around with this stuff. I'm going to go back to glossy because personally I do like glossy right here. If this video didn't fat up, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I hope these shaders work really well for you. If you have any issues, don't forget to drop a comment down below. I'll be going through every single comment and making sure that everyone has a good experience with these shaders. But yeah, other than that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.